So now let's talk about the map app web widget. Uh, this is a widget that consists of a zoomable map in the InTouch application, which you can use to display certain graphics in a geographical context if needed, right? So this is particularly useful, and I'm gonna pause this video for a second. This is particularly useful for uh, customers that have geographically distributed applications like you know, our oil and gas customer base or water wastewater customer base and, you know, maybe some power customers as well that might have uh, different, you know, plants in different locations that you want to track the data for, right? So this widget supports a variety of map providers. Uh, you know, you have your ArcGIS maps, um, Google Maps, Bing, and I believe Baidu as well. Those are all, you know, map providers that are supported by this web widget. Um, and this web widget is available in the standard InTouch HMI environments as well as the InTouch web client now, actually. So you can see these maps inside of the web client. So I'm going to play this video here and we'll see how this process works. So the way you access the map app widget is you go to the industrial graphics toolbox on the right side and you can see there's a map app tool right there. Uh, the way this widget works is you need to configure it as part of an industrial graphic, right? So that's why it's in the industrial graphics section right there. To edit it, you just double click it and you can see that there's three tabs in the configuration pane right here. You have sources, zoom layers, and locations. And actually, I don't know why the video paused. Let me make sure to replay it. Yeah, there you go. So you have sources, zoom layers and location. So the first one we have selected here is sources. And this is where you define the map source that you'll be connecting to. So in this case, it's an open street map. So you can see that configuration string right there. And then we will go to the zoom layers in a second here. So zoom layers are the second tab and that's where you define the layers if you have them. And then you have a locations tab where you can leverage the super tags that we talked about um that include the latitude and longitude attributes so these are integrated together to make it easy to inherit the attributes of the latitude and longitude location of um, your tank one and tank two assets for example and this is where you also associate the graphic to the super tag um, which you can type in or you can drag and drop it from the toolbox as well so to embed the map widget onto a screen, all you need to do is navigate to the Windows tab, uh, place it, your widget on a symbol, and then you embed the symbol onto the screen. So it's a really easy process. And let's see if we can skip to the runtime to show this. There you go right here. This is the runtime, which shows the map app web widget in real time right here.